Hi everybody, welcome to a 20-somethings kitchen. So today, it's probably the easiest recipe you're gonna come across on my YouTube channel, and that is pot pie turnovers. So all it is, is what's sitting right here. So we have a cream of chicken, we have some frozen peas and fresh carrots that I had chopped up, cooked off, and now they have been cooled, the three C's. And then we have our Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. So I have two packages of these pepper, chili flakes, and Tabasco. And I'm not using chicken today just because I didn't have any on hand, but you can add chicken to this and it can be a chicken Popeye turnover, or you could use a cream of broccoli soup with ham and you could have a little bit of cheese with that and it can just turn into a ham and cheese turnover. So this recipe, you can make it however you want. It can be interpreted however you want, but today I'm just going to be doing a veggie turnover. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop everything into my little bowl here. So I have my can of cream of chicken soup and then all of our veggies here. So they are all dumped in here and I will say cream of anything is the most disgusting thing when you pour it into a bowl. Between the noise and the way it looks in the bowl, you just kinda of have to look away, pretend it's not happening and go ahead and mix your stuff up. So we'll go ahead and give her a mix here. But it tastes delicious. It looks funky and smells funky, but it tastes good. So your mixture should look like this. And what I'm going to do is just add some pepper, a pinch of chili flakes, and a couple dabs of Tabasco because you gotta have a little heat in it. So I'm actually just gonna grab a little bit of garlic powder here, put it in our mixture, go ahead and give it a toss. And this is honestly one of those things, you can add any kind of seasoning that you want to it. As you can see, I thought I was just gonna use Tabasco, chili flakes, and pepper, but as I'm mixing, new thoughts come to mind. You can thank coffee for that. You are never too much, and you are always enough. You are precious. So our mixture is ready to go. Once again, it should look the same, but you'll just have the chili flakes in there and the pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead, we have our pan ready here and the oven is at 375. I'm just going to pop open our biscuits, which is very scary. It's honestly like Jack in the Box for adults. So wish me luck, I'm going to open these and we'll go ahead to the next step of this recipe. Have our first pack of crescent rolls on the pan here and what you're just going to do is spread them out so we'll put four down spread them out evenly there and then what we're going to do is just poke them with forks just to give a little hole at the bottom it's like any kind of pie two per each it is that you can just roll it over just to make sure that the bottom's a little thicker so I'll show you here so as you can see, this is a longer one, and this is one of the ones that was spread out. So I just pull it over and put it to the side there, just so you have a little more surface to stuff your turnovers. And next, we'll start adding our ingredients. And you really just want to make sure these are not overly flow, because you don't want them overflowing and not on the bottom of the turnover. So just eyeball it. Just a little, start off with a little scoop on each. And spread it about. Alrighty, so they are ready to be topped with the next part. Just go ahead and spread them out and just make sure that they are covering up your filling. And then you can just pinch them together. And now we're just going to poke little holes at the top Two forks for each one, just because you do want them to breathe. The pot pie turnovers are done and they were in the oven for about 15 minutes and they are good to go. What I'm gonna do is just let them sit and cool for about five to 10 minutes. And after that, I'll go ahead and plate them. And also as the pot pies are cooling, the pan is going to be cooling as well because you don't want that scorching hot when you put the new crescent rolls on there. So. Let them cool down, plate them, and then we'll just do round two of creating our pot pie turnovers. So 
So the second round of turnovers is ready to go into the oven and you will notice that you have some leftover filling. If you want, you can grab three things of crescent rolls while you're at the grocery store. Otherwise, you can just discard it. It's time to eat them. So as you can see on the plate, I put the peas that we had for the pot pie. So any leftover you can put on the side. Then I also have a little bit of fruit and this is my attempt to get nutrients in because I know I cannot just limit myself to one of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. It's delicious. Breaks open really easy and you can see all that filling in there. Time for me to enjoy. My precious one, my tiny one, lay down. 